Welcome to this course, Own Your Superpowers, with the goal to identify and express your strengths in order to maximize your happiness and fulfillment. My name is Alain Stellian, your midlife mentor and the creator of this course. I am a big believer that each and every one of us has unique gifts to contribute to the world, and I am passionate about helping you find your gifts and use them. And to assist you throughout this course, please download and print out the follow along guide that is provided to you in the home page for this Own Your Superpowers course. You'll find places to take notes as well as all the detailed instructions for the assignments. First, let's clarify what I mean by superpowers. They are personal strengths that, when put to use, make you feel energized and fulfilled. Now there's a lot here to unpack, so let's dig in. What do we mean by personal strengths? Your personal strengths are what you are really good at. People tell you this, you know this, they come fairly easily to you, and you are successful when you use them. This could include qualities, talents, and gifts that you were born with, such as empathy or discipline, Subject matter knowledge you've acquired over time based on study and practice, such as command of the English literature or knowing the best restaurants in your city. And skills you've learned and honed through the years, such as baking or training teams. Let's be clear, your personal strengths do not reflect what you wish you were good at, what you want to be good at, or what you think you should be good at, according to external pressure, maybe from family members, bosses, peers, or even from society or your upbringing. You are already good at your strengths. So what turns a strength into a superpower? It's how you feel when you use it. You love using your superpowers. They are a critical part of who you are and how you see yourself. They define the best in you. And when you put them to use, you are being truly authentic. Let's look at some examples of superpowers. Connecting people with each other, like one friend with another friend that you know would love each other. Making delicious dishes out of even the most basic pantry ingredients. Being resourceful, no matter the problem, you know how to research and find the right people or organizations that can help. Demonstrating genuine empathy for others. You feel deeply when you see someone in distress and can imagine yourself in their shoes. Bringing fun and joy to any situation. Maybe you're a great storyteller or love to lead a group in song or games. Making something that seems complicated easy like teaching tech skills to older people. Finding the perfect gift for anyone. Yes, even that parent who needs nothing or that friend who's super picky. Staying calm in times of crises. You're level-headed and not prone to panic, even in the worst times. Now, extensive research has shown that people who express their strengths more tend to be happier, more engaged, more resilient, less stressed, and higher achievers. So the key is to use your superpowers. You may be asking, but what about fixing my weaknesses? Now, I'm not suggesting you discount areas that contribute to repeated pain and struggle, but unless your weaknesses are significantly limiting your potential, it's really not productive to focus on them. Doing so would be harder work, more unpleasant, and less fruitful. Instead, use your limited time and energy to flex your superpowers. It's easier, has a greater impact, and it's a lot more rewarding and motivating. The truth is, if you spend most of your time trying to be good at everything, you eliminate your chance to be great at anything. So master your strengths rather than trying to fix your weaknesses. Here's the problem. Many of us don't even know our strengths or fully appreciate them. Surveys find only one third of people can readily name their strengths. That's where we'll start, in helping you identify your strengths. Now, some people and many women find focusing on their strengths challenging. We don't wanna brag, but let's be honest, we all have strengths. Today, I am asking you to step into your gifts and own them. 
To identify your strengths, there are a number of exercises that can help. In module one, I'm providing you a menu of four options. Try them out, see which work best for you. You may not wanna complete all four of these, and that is fine, but I'd like to encourage you to do at least the first two assignments, the self-reflection and the fan survey. Ready to get started? Make sure you've downloaded the follow along guide that comes with this course. That's where you'll find all the details of this module's assignment. See you in the next video.